you're at one of the biggest, craziest, most rewarding financial opportunities of a lifetime. And I'm not talking about your lifetime. It is our lifetime, but actually the entire lifetime in the history of all the world creating wealth. Now is the moment for you to see where we're going to get a massive eruption with a Bitcoin erection candle coming very, very soon. So do not be fooled. Okay. Right now we are experiencing something tremendously powerful in the crypto space. So thank you and welcome back to the Crypto Bliss channel. 12-12 on the 21st of September. I love that. Check that beautiful energy out right there. All right. Today I wanted to start off and share with you a number of very important metrics that we are looking at. This is from the block. And so basically you can see here transactions on the Bitcoin network daily, seven day moving average. You can see how much transactions are being done on the daily. This is drastically increased and it is going to continue to increase transactions on the Bitcoin network daily. Okay. This is increasing dramatically too. Number of active addresses on the Bitcoin network. Yes. Even though we had a little bit of a pullback now, Alrighty, but look at how much we're up. We're up. We went nearly to 1.25 million. We're down at about 750K right now of number of active addresses. That means active addresses that are trading, that are experiencing this beautiful market. The number of active addresses that on Bitcoin monthly, yes, recently has fallen, but over time has dramatically increased. The number of new addresses on Bitcoin has increased too. The number of New addresses on the Bitcoin monthly network drastically increased. Bitcoin's on-chain volume for daily increased. Bitcoin's on-chain monthly increased. Okay. Even though in 2021, this was the crazy bull cycle that we had here. All right. With the COVID printing of money. Look at this. The COVID printing of money. Look at this tiny little blip here. Okay. Blip. Blip. All right. Look at this. Where we're at right now. This is something that you need to be fundamentally aware of in this space today. Delicious coffee. For some reason, Project Blue Bean seems to be spraying all this snow around South African country. Okay. And we have had hot, hot days here of like 30 degrees. Now all of a sudden we got six degrees and snow on our mountains. Once again, these dudes are fucked and they're really, they're just playing games. But that's not what this video is about. Um, you can see I'm covered to the brim in clothes again. And so this was the moment where they actually started to print money. Let's go and have a look at this. So this was the 7th of the 30th there. That's the right day. 7th of the 30th. So now if we go and look at M2 money supply, which has drastically increased throughout history. All right. Let's go and see when this blip started to take place. Wednesday, 1st of January. Uh, there you go. They told us that we we're going to do it. That's the 1st of March. 1st of March. <laughs> Printing money. But guess what? They actually started all the way back down here. 2010. They never stopped printing money. It just went up. And then they couldn't even revive. They had to push it up even more during 2020. So now this is what it's done. It's bouncing off the 20 moving average. Look at how long of periods they continue to print money 71 all the way to 1990. That's 19 years from here, 95 to 2000. That's five years from here, the 2005 all the way to 2009. That's four years from here. July to there is three is 11 years. Okay. 11 years worth of printing money throughout this entire time. What do you think they're going to do here? Do you think they're going to print money for the next 11 to, to two decades? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Cheers to printing money because printing money, unfortunately, devaluates our paper currency and all global economic uh, environments. But at the end of the day, if you know what they're doing, and they're telling you visibly what they're doing, then it's your own fault if you are not making money in these times, in these cycles. You need to be very conscious. We have seen in the entire history of our market, really, this is one of the biggest points of our cycles. And right now, you can see that we are about to go for a massive, massive cross over here. And we're about to continue the pattern to the upside. So this for me is looking incredibly juicy and 
beautiful. If you want to make money through this cycle, then best be sure you have my Bybit link down below. I'm going to get you up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Do not miss out on the opportunity to buy Bitcoin. All of these coins on spot, okay, right now, because now is the opportunity. So I just want to point out one thing. We've now confirmed a breakout of this downsloping trend. Make no mistake, when you break out, you have to retest. That's the simple rule of trading. Okay, you see here, breakout, retest, break, up, uh, break towards, backtest. There's a difference between a retest and a backtest, although they're similar. Okay, but this is backtesting and this is retest. So breakout, retest, support, break up towards the top, backtest the higher low levels. And look at how that made higher lows all along. So undoubtedly, we are going to see Bitcoin probably come back down here to about 60,350 odd. No doubt, because there is res uh, resistance here at this white box. Pull down, catch the next wave. That will be your undoubtedly your last opportunity to buy Bitcoin before this thing takes off to the moon. Because we're not actually that far away from our next, uh, from the all-time high up here. We're about 14, 15%. That is going to signal to us that we have some of the best opportunities waiting for us. And this is why I need you to know, you need to stay right tuned here to the very end. This is Bitcoin all time index, basically. Okay, you can see way back here, August 2011. This is 13 years of data for Bitcoin. So now what you can see here is we have created these highs right now. If we're to take a pump up here, check where that level is. That's like 92 to 100K. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past it that that's going to be the next level for Bitcoin. And then from there, I believe we're probably going to end up because look at this much, much, much longer higher term resistance, which is coming from here. And very interestingly so, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. This is a lower, this is a lower, but right now, this could end up looking like one shoulder, the head, although this isn't, so this could be an inverted shoulder. This could form a shoulder pattern here before a really true long breakout up here. But I don't think that that's what's going to happen. Really, I think we're going to just, over the next four weeks, this, this vertical line here is the elections time. And so what we need to realize is that we're probably going to bust up here to this 91k through to the 100k level right there for the target as you can see there back retest and then pump right back up to this level which is about 140k honestly if we end the cycle at this high at 140 odd thousand k i'd still be very happy okay although my personal target is undoubtedly up here at the 300k level and I'm going to show you a few things in a moment. Now, let's go and check out the spot ETF volumes because this is obviously making a massive difference. We had, since they launched, massive buy at the time of launch, but then it's dipped. The one thing that you're not looking at is that the accumulation of Bitcoin spot ETF has continued to grow and has accumulated total volumes of about 410 billion. And so what we can see here is that the spot ETF uh, Spot Bitcoin ETF market share is pretty much made up of IBIT, um, Fidelity, and GBTC. All right. Then on this side, Spot ETF share versus futures ETF, Spot is way bigger, of course, because you need to hold the real asset. And that's the point that I keep telling you. Go buy yourself some Bitcoin, take it off, put it on your ledger, your nano device, your heart, your cold storage wallet. You need to take care of your Bitcoin. All right, spot and just try to get to one Bitcoin. One Bitcoin would be absolutely phenomenal. But if you can only get 0 0.1 or 0 0.01, those are your last opportunities really to, to really accumulate. So we've been, you've seen here, the flows out have been decreasing and the flows in have started to increase once again. This is the flows, um, the ETF flows on this side also. So now what you can see here 
is that the net inflows are truly just absolutely powerful. And what we can see here is BlackRock's inflows have maintained stability and so have, has Fidelity. This is powerful because right now, uh, Fidelity owns, uh, sorry, um, IBIT, BlackRock, owns about $22.4 billion in Bitcoin. And the next runner-up is GBTC at about $14 billion, And then Fidelity at about $13 billion. So not a, just a billion behind GBTC, by the way. Absolutely powerful, absolutely magnificent energy happening in the space. Let's move on from this because there's more news that I want to share with you. Right now, you can see that crypto indices, and I'm going to show you multiple charts, so stay tuned right to the very end. I'm almost done with this video. Thank you for being here and show some love. If you have any questions you want to know, if you've been enjoying the content on my channel, you know what to do. So today, you can see here with the crypto indices, the DeFi tokens, this is all time. We made this massive pump and we've dropped. We have all the way back up to go. DeFi is a massive play for this cycle. Still, um, DPIN, Decentralized Financial in Infrastructure Tokens. Holy shit, if you do not own some of this, you are going to miss out on some of the massive opportunities. Gaming tokens, um, AI tokens. Look, they made a new all-time high and then they pull back. Where do you think they're going? Okay, small cap tokens, mid cap tokens, and then price performance of GMCI indices. This is massive. Now, the one thing that I do want to show you is that on this monthly candle right now, you can see that we are finding fundamental support on the 20 moving average, creating a higher low and creating a, oh, an hammer candle and on a support level, which looks like this. Okay, so here is your hammer candle on a strong support level, pulling right back up above this very much dead zone of support and resistance of the previous uh, cycles all time high. Look at how we retested here. Boom to the T. OK, look at what we're busy doing. This thing is going to start pulling up. If you are not invested in Bitcoin, especially right now, while it is still in accumulation, going into still cheap phase, my friend, you are missing out on the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. Because even if you're going to buy at this current point in 10 years time up here, we're going to see this market low at approximately six hundred thousand dollars on Bitcoin. The market low, that's 10x from now. That is the market low then. Not only that, we're experiencing some of the craziest stuff we're seeing in Bitcoin. There is on the three day, a bullish cross on the MACD, a breakout on the stochastic RSI and a buy signal with a very strong candle on the daily, uh, sorry, on the three daily here. And for you, my friend, you, my friend, you need to know that M2 money supply has only but increased. Global uh, M2 money supply is increasing, just like I've showed you over here. What do you think they're going to print? My friends, if they printed this over the last 10 years, I'd like to just give you some perspective of what that could essentially look like at this current point. Because right now, you're at the opportunity of another lifetime. They could literally print $15 trillion into existence over the next kind of 10 years, okay? That is something crazy. Not only that, we're seeing this beautiful, feels like buying to go, 47% all the way to the altcoin season. Altcoin season is coming. Don't go anywhere because if you're gonna miss out on this, you're going to miss out on this uptrend and altcoins pumping to anywhere between four to $8 trillion in market cap this cycle. I truly appreciate all of your energy Make sure you are subscribed because when you come and hit my Bybit link, yes, we might have a small rejection here. It might cause a little bit more bleeding, two grand on Bitcoin. Doesn't matter. We're getting ready for the altcoin and Bitcoin cycle of a lifetime. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And if you've enjoyed this video, thank you for being here with me. Show some love. Let me know what coins you want me to speak about down in the comments below and we'll do some videos. Plus, we have our live session coming up on Monday night. It's going to blow your mind out the water. So thank you very much. Have a beautiful, wonderful Saturday. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.